Hello and welcome from the First United Methodist Church in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to go on a little bit of a Christmas field trip. I hope you're wrapped up warm because we're going to go where there's a lot of wind. Our first stop is Essington. Recently I've been thinking about Christmas carols. One of them that confuses me a little bit is I saw three ships come sailing in. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. What does that have to do with Christmas, really? Just somebody who had nothing to do that morning and went for a walk and saw three ships approaching the shore? Or could it have more to do with it, somehow? Bear with me on this. I have an idea. This is Harris Casino in Chester, Pennsylvania. I'm not here for the casino. In fact, I would advise people to stay out of those places. What a waste of time and money. But this building, hasn't always been a casino. When I was a kid, it was part of the Sun Ship Yard, where my godmother and her father worked. She worked in an office and he worked in the yard. And this was one of the buildings where ships were actually built. And one of my earliest memories has to do with seeing one of them being completed and they had a formal celebration, a christening of the ship. I was, you no, know, I it, maybe about four or five years old, but it sticks in my head just how happy everyone was to see it finished. For the people here, it was a completion. But for the ship itself, it was one step just before launching, just before setting off to sea, just before doing exactly what they built it to do. Looking south, you can see the Port of Chester. There's the Barry Bridge that runs from Chester across to Bridgeport, New Jersey. Up the river come boats, ships. I once watched the Queen Elizabeth II sailing up toward this area, toward this port and beyond it, on its way to celebrate the bicentennial in 1976. 
but every single day you can see container trucks like the ones spread out around the port that have offloaded been offloaded from ships coming in from around the world from here they end up on trucks and on the tracks that run all up and down the shore and what was important in the Christmas Carol wasn't just the ships that came in but they're free the Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day on Christmas Day the Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day in the morning One of the other sights you can see from here, if you turn around, is a prison. The prison in Chester. In fact, my great-grandparents owned a house that stood on part of this land. It's a reminder of what humankind can do and what we can be. Why did Christ sail into this world? Well, it has to do with all sorts of things, and the main one is sin, and our need for pardon and forgiveness. Now that we're back at church, I want to point something out, and I'm not the first person to notice this. And that is that what keeps a ship moving forward, but makes it possible, is a mast and the beams, which together form a cross. The ship that sailed into Bethlehem brought with it the freight of Jesus. But it also brought the cross. It brought with it his whole life, because that's what a ship is launched for, to carry things that are important. And it might take long years of preparation, as, as it did, throughout the whole period of the Old Testament for people to come to grips with what God had planned, for them to reach a point where they would be living with the faith that a Messiah was on the way. And when the Messiah arrived, it was not that the waiting time was over, but that the time of construction was done and the time for him to really set out on his life and on its purpose, powered by the cross, the symbol of God's love, the sign of God's love, the working out of God's love. That's when it could begin. Christmas isn't just the time that we celebrate the end of waiting. But it's a time we celebrate the beginning of salvation that came to its fullness when Jesus died and rose again. So, Christmas Day in the morning, let all the bells on earth ring out. Let all the bells on earth ring out on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. 
all the bells on earth shall ring on Christmas Day in the morning. Lord Jesus, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And yet in the midst of eternity, the world was made through you. And in the midst of the world, you came to dwell, to be with us, to be among us, to bring us the things that we most need, the grace that gives us the forgiveness of God, the love that anchors our hearts in you, and the hope that no storm can blow off course or remove from our lives. Help us to remain deeply and firmly anchored in you, even as your love remains firmly among us. Be with us at this time of year and be with us throughout all our days. May there be peace on earth and glory to God in the highest. Amen. Thank you.